Hi, let us understand how key value pair secret engine version 2 works. By default, the version 1 will get created and I can create the version 2 secret engine explicitly. There are some advantages when I am creating version 2. As we discussed earlier, version 2 can maintain history and there is a special option called check and set operation where it will protect the user from overriding the data unintentionally. Also, whenever the data is getting deleted, it will do a soft delete and I can destroy the data without having the history as well. And all this we are going to see through a demo. We can do all these operations either using command line interface or through a UI and using the API operations as well. In this particular lecture, we will discuss about how to use the CLI and the UI regarding the API we will discuss after discussing the ACL and the permissions. Let me open the UI. Let me provide the secret. These are all the secrets available. I can list the secrets and its version using the detailed option using the command line interface. Using the command vault secrets list dash detailed, it's going to give lot other information about each and every secrets available within the machine. Say for example, within secret, it's having the information, it's running in version 2. Let me go ahead and create a secret in a new path called my path. I'm using the command vault secrets enable in the path my path, the type of secret engine is KV. By default, it is going to create version 1. This is what we learned in the earlier lecture. I can see the details using the detailed option as well. Within the detailed option, I do not have the reference saying it is of specific version 2. I can enable versioning for this particular path by using the command enable versioning. Vault kv enable dash versioning and then the path. Now let me check the details about this particular secret engine. This is running in version 2. Now let us understand how the versioning works within the secret engine. I am going to use the default secret engine available that is secret. Let me put a value. I am going to put a value in the path secret slash customer slash abcd with the key contact name and value as kum. Along with that I am adding another key support underscore email and a value. Here it is going to give some valuable information as a metadata in terms of when it was created and deletion date. Deletion date is the soft delete on from when it was marked as deleted and destroyed that is permanently that is removing it and version what version it is. We will see the details of all these values using a demo. Now I am going to get this particular value using the path vault kv get and then the path secret slash customer slash abcd. I do have the metadata along with the key and value. The same thing should be visible within the secret engine as well. Within secret engine I do have customer abcd and the values. Here I do have the list of versions. Now I created only one version. So version 1 is available. Let me go ahead and add another version. To the same path, I am adding contact name and support email. So version 2 got created. I can see the history within the path ABCD. I do have the latest version 2 that is getting displayed and within the history I do have multiple versions. I can see the version history and details of each and every specific version. Against the specific version, I can do the operations like delete the specific version or destroy that version completely. The difference between these two is delete it is going to mark that particular version as deleted and I can roll back and create the version back. Permanently deleting if it is destroyed, I cannot get that back. You will see that through a demo. Now let me go ahead and create more versions. Along with that, we are going to see the option of patch. Now I am creating the version 3 for the same path ABCD and now I am giving only one key and value corresponding to it. So what is going to happen? It will remove the key that we had earlier as contact underscore name. So that is 
lost and i will be in a position to see that as a part of version 2 how to see the versions through the cli we will be seeing it later now within a b c d i have the latest version version 3 i can get into the version 2 and check what are all the keys and values that were available sometimes there may be a need to add or append a value for the key or we may have to update the value of any specific key for that we can use a command called patch let me create the fourth version with the keys contact underscore name and support underscore email now i'm going to use the command patch vault kv patch and then what path i wanted to patch i want to patch with this specific key this key was not available so it's going to append to the existing list of keys so the version 5 should have three keys let me read the latest version version 5 yes i do have the latest version version 5 and i can check within the ui as well yes the latest version is version 5 and i have three keys now i can get back to any specific version using this particular option now let me go ahead and delete the version 3 so i'm going to view the version 3 i'm going to delete the version so it's going to give the warning once if i use the delete i will not be in a position to read but the underlying data will be available yes the version 3 is deleted here within the history i will have the option the version 3 is deleted let me get into the version 3 and i do have the option to undelete undelete it's going to get the data back in case if i don't want that data and if i want to destroy it permanently i can use this particular option permanently destroy the version once that is done i cannot get that data back here within the version 3 it's going to give the warning it was permanently deleted so i cannot get it back and in case if i wanted to delete all the versions i can use this particular option delete it permanently it's going to delete all the versions permanently i can copy all the secrets either using a json file or the wrap text format let me copy that using the json and i can create a new version using the ui as well let me go ahead and create i can key in the keys and values over here or i can go ahead and enter the value as a json and save the value now i do have the version 6 and this is a quick overview on what are all the options and how to handle the versions using the ui the same option we will be doing through the command line interface that i will be demonstrating it in the next lecture